everybody, Dave here from Terrest Studios and today I'm doing something a little different. Um, I picked up a little camcorder about a month ago and it is the Panasonic HC V180 and um, it's pretty much the uh, the lowest cost um, entry-level camcorder by Panasonic uh, they do have a, a version that has Wi-Fi, I believe is the next one up that has Wi-Fi and maybe something else. Um, this one does not have Wi-Fi, does not have a mic jack. It does have a fantastic zoom though, which I'll show you guys in the footage. Um, that's one of the, the main things I love about this camera is the fantastic zoom. I believe it's a 50 optical, I should have checked that, but I think it's 50 optical and then from there it's um, uh, up to 90x with the uh, digital um, digital uh, zoom. So and I and I think it also goes beyond that. But uh, anyway, uh, I would not recommend using the zoom beyond the, the the 90. And in fact, I don't really use it beyond the optical zoom, which I believe is 50. And as you'll see in the, um, I have it cut off. I think at 50 or maybe 90, where you could set where you want to, uh, you know, how, how much you want to be able to zoom, and it won't zoom past that. You can set that in the settings. And I believe I either set it to, to stop at the 50, which is optical, or the 90, because you can go way beyond that, but then it gets really, gets really grainy after that. But uh, the 50 is quite, quite, a, quite a lot of zoom. Uh, you guys will see, I had some, some nice wildlife and stuff here in the yard and I caught some birds when I was out on a walk and the 50 really came in nice um, from from where I was to pull in really um, really good um, really good quality and really good image on that on that zoom so yeah I love it the size and the weight it's very it's very compact and it's light um, I'd never had a camcorder before and I you know I kind of thought well why don't I try a camcorder because you know the the um, I watched one of Marcus Pick's videos and he was just he kind of inspired me because he you know he kind of pointed out that you really don't have to worry about all the settings and changing lenses or anything like that the camcorder can be you know pretty much all automatic and um, the zoom is right in there you don't have to carry extra lenses and you know naturally with this kind of uh, camcorder I'm not going to get the same quality as I'll get with the camera I'm shooting with now is the uh, Micro Four Thirds Panasonic Lumix uh, G85 so that's a Micro Four Thirds camera um, and it's going to give me probably better quality video um, but that said it's not going to have you know I'm not going to be able to just throw it in my pocket like this and have 50 times zoom and um, you know be able to just uh, easily access it and do do what I need to shoot a video all automatic um, so there are there are some settings on here but basically you can set it on intelligent auto and it will do everything everything for you except the zooming in um, the, the microphone quality I thought was very good and it works with the zoom so you know the further away you are the, the higher the mic um, picks up uh, so lots of nice, nice uh, features with this little camera. Of course, it is the bottom um, of the camcorder line for Panasonic. Um, so it's, it starts at, um, this camera is about $200. Uh, I did see it on sale for $177, and I waited too long, so then it was $199 by the time I wanted to get it. But uh, I, think it's, I think it's well worth the $199. It's a good camera. It's lightweight, easy to take with you. Um, I'll give you guys a close-up on the camera. So here it is, guys, the Panasonic HC V180. And um, full HD, not 4K. And I'll open it up for you guys. So there's your connections. And I'll put it on too. May as well put it on. So 
So your on button's inside here, but you can have it so it turns on with the door opening too. There's a, uh, a lens cover, so you can open your lens cover up over here. Okay. So there we go. And now we can see this camera filming this camera. So the, um, the LCD screen is pretty nice. You can definitely see what's going on, even in pretty bright light. And um, I'm going to show you guys the footage, so I'm not going to get into this too much. But I just wanted to show you what the LCD screen looked like and how it, you know, when you're looking at it from the behind the camera. And this, of course, this screen flips around so that you can see yourself on the other side. And when you close the screen, it goes into kind of a sleep mode and you'll see the power button will go off but as soon as you open the door uh, the power will will resume and you can continue on on filming so there it is and um, let's take a look at the footage and when we come back we'll be filming on this Okay guys, so I'm inside the studio now and I'm on the Panasonic HC V180 and this is the sound right out of camera and all the clips that you saw before this were uh, with, the, with this camera and they were straight out of camera. I didn't do any editing to them other than cutting, you know, cutting them up and, and that kind of thing. Um, the zoom is the um, up to 90, I guess they call it intelligent zoom. And then beyond that, you can go up to 500 uh, time zoom with the digital zoom. Um, but it gets really, you know, like pixelated. Um, so I, I put the camera to stop at 90. So all the zoom, when I showed you the zoom feature, uh, that was going up to 90, 90x on the zoom. And which you can see is it brings in like um, the wildlife and the, the like you saw the uh, frog where I came in really close. And... Uh, Beautiful, beautiful uh, zoom. So I got to say that up to 90, 
after that you'll see pixelation but if you really needed to get you know really needed to get that footage for some reason you could go uh, way beyond that up to 500 so that's crazy um, anyway guys I'll put a link down below in the description and um, this camera also does some pretty darn good stills unfortunately I didn't have uh, I lost I had a malfunction with one of my SD cards and I lost some of the stills that I had but I just shot some around the yard today and I'm gonna put them after I say goodbye and it'll just close out the video with, with a few of the stills that this camera took so anyway I hope this review uh, video was helpful to some of you and um, anybody looking for for a, a you know low-end camcorder I highly recommend it and um, this is you know like I said this is the camera right now this is the sound coming right from it and I'm in the studio I have pretty good lighting in here but it's all LED or fluorescent so it's um it's on intelligent auto so it's deciding what what uh, you know how to handle the lighting and everything anyway great for point and shoot and uh, just you know really quick and easy so with that I'm gonna say goodbye and then I'll leave you with those few still pictures to take a look at um, if you guys have any questions um, leave them below in the comments and I'll be sure to answer you guys as soon as I can thanks everybody for watching hope you have a great day take care of yourself take care of each other and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.